I went for FNAF Help Wanted 2's Platinum, which only included 37 trophies that I needed to get. Loading the game for the first time, I was already getting scared. Oh my... Seeing that I was already in for a treat, I was put into the main hub area where I decided to look around, getting me my first trophy. This one. Oh, your time to shine. What is this? Consult the Mystic Hippo. Okay, cool. After looking around for a bit, I decided to go over to this computer. This computer is the basic area where you find all the mini games inside the game. So, for the first mini game, I went over to the sister location folder and entered Ballora's Gallery. In Ballora's Gallery, the main goal is to reach the other side of the room without being caught by Ballora. As I was making my way through, I got two trophies. One for picking up these mini arenas and throwing them. Oh, a tiny dancer. And the other for getting jump scared. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Liability risk. Since I got jump scared, I had to try again, where something crazy happened. You're way too close. I'm three minutes, of, I'm, I'm good on time, it's right there. I'm almost out of here, I'm almost out of here, come on. Stop your music and let me go. Stop your music and let me go. Go! Just go! Just go! Just go! Oh my gosh! I gotta. Oh. I moved so fast. I was moving at that last part. After I was done, I went to break a room. In here, I had to keep Funtime Freddy away from me while I pulled handles. This wasn't too bad, except for this. Next, I went to office private room. This was the traditional FNAF, where I needed to check the cameras and close the doors. Now, there's multiple different office, but for office private room, it only had one animatronic, which was entered. This was pretty simple, because every time he would show up, he'd make a loud noise, so you really didn't even have to check the cameras. I'm getting ready at the door. Okay, that's not too bad. The next two are really easy. Being cold storage, where you have to repair Glamrock Freddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. And first aid where you had to fix Helpy. Great news. Due to the day's successful salvage, the entertainment value of the pizza place has increased. Mm -hmm. Getting to the next minigame with the trophy, I played Fizzy Fast. The goal of Fizzy Fast was to make the order listed on the screen while also giving the staff bots proper rest. On my first time playing, I got the bonus revenue trophy for not wasting any ingredients. Bonus revenue, what is that? Moving to the food prep folder, I went into L Chips, where I was a bit disrespectful with the customer's food and dropped it on the floor. Cool. Oh, five seconds. Oh. Serve food after dropping it. Now in my playthrough, I liked switching from folder to folder, so I just kept going back and forth, back and forth. So next was the ticket booth, where I played the carousel minigame. This has me replacing fuses and fixing circuit boards, while also keeping an eye out for Moon. This one was probably one of the scariest minigames I played. Hello. Once I was done, I moved on to Captain Foxy's Log Ride. In Foxy's Log Ride, all you have to do is shoot the targets and get a high score. While I was on the ride, I shot a helpy sign where it switched my path, giving me the Splash Zone Trophy. Oh, there we go, splash zone, where's that? Find an alternate log ride fluo. After finishing enough minigames, you can get the Faz Wrench. The Faz Wrench was gained from the prize machine. The prize machine would appear every time you beat a minigame. So once you beat the minigame, you get the prize. With the wrench, I was able to open this back door and find an arcade machine and a weird looking tower. Getting close to the tower, I was actually able to shut it down and blue lines came across my face. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, open your eyes. See the world as it really is. Uh-oh. 
something's happening here. It turns out, the whole time, I have been wearing a mask. With the mask off, it changed the entire environment, from a bright and vibrant area to a dark and gloomy area. But with the mask off, it actually gave me more minigames to play. But since I didn't finish all the minigames with the mask on, I decided to go to my next one, which was Fazer Blast. Fazer Blast is kind of like Foxy's Log Ride, except you stay still and you have three different ways of getting points. You have the laser gun, throwing balls, and a dart gun. At one point in Fazer Blast, I decided just to throw balls at the targets until I hit 20 targets and got the Bullseye Trophy. This is hot. This is tiring. Oh, Bullseye. What is that? Hold on. Hit 20 ball targets. After I was done with Fazer Blast, I went into some bowling. Oh, GGY. Look at that. Be all high scored. After finishing all the minigames with the mask on, I took off the mask and went back to Fizzy Faz, where I had night 4. It was the same thing as the first night, but I had more ingredients that I needed to add. Plus, there was more staff bots since there's more ingredients, so everybody needed a break. And because everybody needed a break, I actually got a trophy. Oh, we did it. Everyone's favorite boss. What is that? Give every ingredient station staff bot a break within a round. Now with the mask still off, I wanted to complete all the minigames with the mask off. So I went to Fazer Blast where I got another trophy. Oh, they had it coming. What is that? Shoot those plush babies. Okay. After Fazer Blast, I decided to go back to the office minigames. Now when I went into the office, I found a drawer, and in that drawer was a keypad. This keypad needed a secret code. I'm quite familiar with the lore of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, so I put in 1983 and that worked. But after putting in the code, the keypad slid back and out came a hand with a marionette doll. These dolls are actually important for two trophies later. Oh! Remember Jeremy? Retrieve a memory. Ooh! Or... I kept playing more of the office minigames where I went into the fun time gang minigame. This was kind of like the private room with Ennard, except there was a lot more animatronics. And when I was playing, I didn't even realize I got this trophy. The trophy was to keep Chica's cupcake away from her the entire night. Come on, timer. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Never mind. Cupcake, keep away. In fun time gang, don't let Chica get you, Mr. Cupcake. Oh, okay. Easy piece. Shifting to become a makeup artist, I decided to make Roxy presentable. Nobody likes a loser. Make Roxy presentable. Then after making Roxy presentable, I went over to the front stage where a present was waiting for me. Once I opened the present, a Freddy action figure came out. I placed him to my left on the stand. We're counting them, there's six in total, so I was guessing I had to do this six times. So the way to trigger these presents is I had to go into a minigame and out of a minigame, and a present would appear. The other animatronics that I needed to pull out were Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, Golden Freddy, and the marionette. After placing the last one, a large present appeared. In the large present was a huge action figure that mixed all six of them together, kind of like Power Rangers. This was actually one of the endings of the game. Uh-oh. Spring trip. Oh. Oh, I think I was supposed to be down there. After getting the ending, I went into Bonkabon. For Bonkabon, you have to hit only the Bonbons and the Plush Babies. You have to avoid Helpy. There's three trophies I got in here. The first trophy was to break eight bulbs on the side. Okay, there we go. Lights out. Smash eight light bulbs. Out. Next, I had to hit only Helpy and no one else. Oh, yep. Snap. There, I got it. Only hit healthy during round one. And the last one was to win only using one mallet. Oh no, there we go. Seeing red. Did you know there are two mallets? I went back to becoming a makeup artist again, and I had to give this bot a Monty makeover. Oh, Monty under... Yeah, there you go. Mike, I'm on. Now since I gave the bot green makeup, I also had to do the same for Roxy and Shattered Roxy. Oh. There we go, it's not easy. I went back to El Chips again, so I could be a little bit disrespectful, but I squirted some sauce on the customer. 
food fight. I then went back to Fizzy Faz, where I had to make a graveyard. Now at first, I thought a graveyard meant using a contaminated ingredient. But, I was playing with my friend Daniel, and he said that usually a graveyard is all drinks mixed together. Which actually makes sense, and it actually worked. Yep, there it is, graveyard. After that, I went to some arts and crafts. In arts and crafts, the goal was to match the images displayed and paint the right picture. And then you also have to do it again, but use this dart gun to shoot these parts and then place them on a paper pal. Now in here, there's a trophy where if I turn to my right, there's some glue. And if you eat this glue, you get the trophy. Now we're back at first aid where we have to help Helpy. Now after helping him, you usually have to give him a piece of candy, but if you eat it in front of him, you get a trophy. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Taking candy from a baby. Another trophy I have to get is to throw a piece of his body at an animatronic. There we go. Oh, I did it. Never know till you try it. Right? After I was done throwing Helpy's body, I didn't need to go back there until the very end. I went back to Carousel. Now in Carousel, we have to throw this pumpkin at Moon. Now the easiest way to do this is to let him get close to me, and I just throw it at him. There we go. Harvest Moon. Perfect. After throwing the pumpkin at Moon, I went back to El Chip, where I got a bit hungry, so I had to eat so much food. This? Ow! Ow! There we go. All you can eat. Eat edible objects in the game and forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I also went back to Phaser Blast and I had to shoot Carney with everything I got. This one wasn't really working for a little bit, but after shooting for a while, it eventually gave it to me. Oh, there we go. Echo the heckler. Give the carnage what he deserves. And then I went back to Breaker Room, where I had to boot Funtime Freddy's nose. I just gotta wait till he's right here. Don't use that. I'm actually gonna hold it just in case. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Right as he gets close, I need to look at him. Bob his nose. There we go. Boop. Holy moly. After those little miscellaneous trophies, I went for the, one of the hardest trophies in the game. Gobble Gobble. This trophy was annoying. It wanted me to bowl a turkey. And for those not familiar with bowling, a turkey means you got three strikes in a row. Which in real life, I'm not the best bowler, but it's a lot easier to control. But in VR, sometimes it's a bit annoying. This is my first attempt. Look at that. Ah! Are you kidding me? And then my second. Dang it. Right. And third. Dang it. I already missed. And fourth. A good strike, but... Dang it. And I just kept going and going and going until I eventually got it. That was perfect. That was a perfect strike. And this could be the perfect run. 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 This could be the perfect run! Yes! Turkey! Gobble, gobble! Eh. After that trophy, it was picture day for some endos. This trophy required me to get all these endos together and take a picture of them at the same time. At first I didn't even realize I got the trophy because I was so scared. It was. Oh, I got it, picture day. And then I went back to first aid to complete all the tasks. Now this one wasn't hard at all. I just had to keep playing until I found the task I needed. Oh, that was it. Health and safety, that was the last one. All possible first aid test. Okay. 
Now I am down to my last four trophies before the platinum. The next trophy I needed to get was related to the marionette doll I picked up earlier in the office mini game. What I needed to do is pick up five more of these dolls, and just like the action figures, I needed to get Chica, Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie, and Golden Freddy. So the second doll I got was Chica. For Chica, I had to go to Fazbear Theater and put all types of Chica items in the trash. Here, look at this, put that in there. This, Welcome to Freddy there. Fazbear's Fazbear this Theater. One. Now all I gotta do is throw these in the trash. Oh! The third one I got was Golden Freddy, which for Golden Freddy, we need to go to Fizzy Faz Night 3. All I needed to do was mix the four ingredients from left to right, skipping salt, then grab this soda can from behind the machine and pour that in. I press this red button which activates lockdown. I place this drink in there and I deliver it. And then it should give us Golden Freddy. Yeah. Oh boy. The fourth was Foxy. Now Foxy's was a bit longer. I had to go back to Foxy's log ride and shoot all the helpy signs I was talking about earlier. It was helpy, so we shoot him. Now we're... Oh, there he is. In each of these secret paths, there's a blue star. Once I shoot these blue stars, at the very end of the mini game, I get the Foxy doll. Oh, there's that star. Oh, there it is. And the real treasure was friendship all around. That's the last one. Oh, yep, there it is. Get it. Splash, splash. This is the forbidden treasure. That one's small. High five. Fifth was Freddy. To get Freddy, I had to go to the different Fazer Blast mini games. First, I had to go to Fazer Blast 1, 2, and 3 and shoot the different rocket ships in each stage. These rocket ships actually affected the outside area. What is that? Okay, that's one. One rocket ship. Oh. I see. There we go, we got it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we got him Next, we had to go to Phaser Blast 4. In Phaser Blast 4, it's a recreation of FNAF 2. And since it was a recreation of FNAF 2, I had to go to the different cameras and find the animatronics. Once I found the animatronic, if it was an event, I had to turn the light on and shoot it with the dart gun. I did this for multiple animatronics. After I got all the animatronics, the entire place burnt down. This unlocked Bazer Blast 5. It was a little fight between me and Springtrap, so I defeated him and I got Freddy. Oh my god. That was a freaking loud scream. Holy. Last, I needed Bonnie. Now for Bonnie, we had to go to Bonka Bon with the mask off. In here, you get a bonus round where Springtrap appears. If you hit Springtrap, it causes a tilt. Normally, with this tilt, you have to take the numbers that are given above and place them in order. But if you do it in reverse, the hand will appear and give you Bonnie. You do it in reverse, reverse. so it would be the nine would not go there. The nine go here, two would be front, three, three would go there, and six would go there. And we should get the doll. Yeah. Now that I have all six of the dolls, I had to go over to the Mystic Hippo. At the Mystic Hippo, there's a glitchy purple coin. Now with this glitchy purple coin, I can go back to the arcade machine that was in that back room and insert it. This was Princess Quest. At first, I started controlling the princess and defeating these black 
gooey bonny things. I also had to turn on some lights with my sword. At one point I got a key which unlocked a chain. Once I went into the room, I actually went into the real world where I saw me. My screen flashed for a bit and then I was able to pick up a sword. Now I was basically the princess. You're gonna give this to me? Whoa! And now the princess quest. After that, it was a first person princess quest. So I did basically everything I did before, except in first person. Until I got to a point where I saw these different gravestones, which could be lit up. Now for a trophy, you have to do this in a certain order to unlock a secret room. The order I had to light them up in was Chica, Boxy, Freddy, Bonnie, Golden Freddy, and the marionette. Once that opened the secret room, I went down, found a chest, and in the chest was a Bonnie mask. Yeah, a Bonnie mask. This looks familiar. Lost luggage. A Bonnie mask? After I left the secret room, I kept going and found an old man who gave me a Vanny mask and a glitch trap plush. Once I took the plush, it opened this door where the sister location elevator was. I went inside and went up. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Oh my gosh. Damn. Oh. Oh, consequences. This was the second ending to the game. I was now down to the last two trophies. I had to play all the mini games and I had to get all the prizes. Now for the mini game one, I already played all the mini games. All I needed to do was play a mini game, beat it, and the trophy would pop. There we go, you're higher. We all mini game. The last trophy though was Hoarder. This one wanted me to get all the prizes in the claw machine. Now I went to first aid to do this because this was the easiest one to do. After about 40 minutes since I got my mini game trophy, I got the Hoarder trophy. And with the Hoarder trophy, also gave me the Platinum. Oh yes! Hoarder! Get all prizes from the claw machine and shift complete. Platinum. That's it for this Platinum video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and comment a game you'd like to see me get Platinum. And with all that being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.